Hey guys, my name is Jesse, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are planning my December TBR with my fancy little book box. November's reading wasn't as good as it had been in September and October. I only read eight books. I read one book for my November TBR, and I read four out of six books for the Gilmore Athon TBR. And other than that, I didn't do a lot of reading in November. Um, it was a kind of a poor month, and I'll have a separate November wrap-up video sometime in the next week or so. I'm only drawing five books this month in case the moodiness continues and that way I have time for flexibility and hopefully I'll make it through all five of these books. Anyways, let's get started and let's look. Or don't look actually. So we have, the first book we have is A Burn. So for A Burning by Mega Majumdar, I'll be reading A Burning by Mega Majumdar. I'm very sorry if I'm mispronouncing the author's last name, but this book follows um, first a girl who made a careless post on Facebook and because of that, she is being accused of um, a terrorist attack. There's another person who knows what happened, but if, you know, the main kid, the girl, if something bad happens to her, then he gets, you know, to rise and he'll have, he'll get to reap the benefits. And there's a third person who is very scared to come through, come through with the truth that will um, kind of prove the first person's innocence. So this is actually the third time this book has ended up on my TBR and I really will get to it this time. Um, I think I'm going to make this the first book I read in December just to make sure I get to it. And it's not even that it's a big book. I think it just the topic is intimidating to me. Um, just because I'm worried that, you know, like, what if it goes over my head or I don't understand it or something? I don't know. That's like a fear I have about books that have more sensitive topics or, um, yeah, more sensitive, more serious topics. I'm always a little bit worried that they'll go over my head and that I won't understand them. But I am excited to actually get to this one and I will read it in December of 2020. All right, for our second pick... We have Grishaverse by Leigh Bardugo. So for Grishaverse, I will be reading Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. And from what I can tell, this is a heist novel where an assortment of characters will work together to pull off some type of heist. I've heard a lot about this book and this series is actually what made me want to read the Shadow and Bone trilogy. But I wanted to read the Shadow and Bone trilogy first because they were written first. I don't know if it actually makes a difference. But so I wanted to read them. And this is another, um, so far it's a duology. Six of Crows and I can't remember the other one, a Crooked, Crooked Kingdom. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom are a duology that also take place in the Grishaverse. And so I'm excited to read this one as well. My goal was to read all of the published Grishaverse books before the um, show comes out on Netflix. I have no idea when the show will come out, but I still have to read the, this duology plus the King of Scars book. I haven't read that one yet either. So I'm excited to get to this one sometime this month. And now for our third pick. For third pick, we have matched the color of my shirt. So I'll pick a book that has a plain black or mostly black cover. So for read a book that matches the color of my shirt, I'll be reading Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Machado or Machado. I don't know which is the correct pronunciation. Um, this book has a mostly black cover, but there's still some color in the middle. I didn't have anything on my bookshelf that I haven't read yet that would match this prompt, and I wasn't in the mood for a reread. But this book, it seems like it's going to be a collection of short stories involving like women, their bodies, how they're treated. Or at least that's the way I understood it. The summary of the book on Goodreads talked a lot more about the author's writing style and it definitely made her writing style sound really interesting and exciting to read but it didn't really tell me a lot about the book. Um, but I'm so excited to read it and I'll actually be reading it as an ebook on Scribd. For the fourth pick,
we have Rita Classic. So for Rita Classic, I'll be reading A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lee Engel. And if you saw last month's TBR video, you'll know I was supposed to read this last month and I didn't. So I'm going to read it in December. Um, I went ahead and put this as a classic. I know it's a children's classic, but I still really want to reread this one. I just didn't get around to it last month. I didn't feel like it. So I'm hoping I'll feel like it this month. But this book follows a girl, her brother, and a school friend who um, kind of go on this adventure to save the world, more or less. I don't remember it that well. Um, I'm sure I gave you a better summary last month, maybe. But I'm still excited to reread this book. I still remember this reading this in sixth or seventh grade. And on a dark and stormy night will always make me think of this book. And now for the fifth and final pick. We have These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. For These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, I'll be reading These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Um, this is a Romeo and Juliet retelling and it takes place in 1920s a Shanghai and it involves like kind of like a feud between two gangs and there's Juliet and Roma is the um, boy and there's kind of like I guess their two families or at least their two gangs are feuding and then at some point um, there's like something that's causing the members of each gang to harm themselves instead of fighting each other and Juliet and Roma must kind of team up and figure out what's happening. I've heard a lot about this book this month and I'm really excited for it. Um, I'm trying to remember the lesson I learned because I got a little too hyped for Addie LaRue and didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would, but I am still really excited to read this one as well this month. So thank you guys so, so much for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully my reading will go a lot better in December than it did in November. And as always, I will keep you updated on my other social media to let you know how my reading's going. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.